Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the users of Free Accounting Software to show you guys how to transition from Single Touch Parallel 1 to Single Touch Parallel 2. In this video, I want to cover the superannuation salary sacrifice. So, this is quite similar to um, the previous video uh, with the overtime um, where it was um, reported under gross um, uh, in single touch power one and now has to be reported separately so just a quick look at how it was previously reported so going into this pay slip um, so the way we were reporting this we've got the normal time line and then we've got the subtraction of $1,000 for super salary sacrifice. This goes to an account called super salary sacrifice and the tax code used is gross taxable wages. So the reason we use this is because it this $1,000 reduces the gross taxable wages. Um, and so that fixes up the pay-as-you-go withholding um, and um, and that's all good for that. Um, however, it does mean that the uh, one thousand dollars is netted against the gross. Um, so uh, down here, um, the gross is three nine five zero, which is the um, four thousand nine hundred and fifty minus the one thousand dollars salary sacrifice. Um, we do also have this employer additional super line of $1,000 and that does get reported down here under employer reportable super and that isn't really changing. So now if we look at how this gets reported in single touch payroll phase two, um, I guess first just to look at how it is going to be reported um, rather than how we transition, let's have a look. So, creating a new pay slip uh, for the employee. Some more time. Now, adding a line and selecting super salary sacrifice. Minus one thousand. So there is a new tax code for the super salary sacrifice. Okay, and that's called super salary sacrifice for additional super. Okay, um, and that um, uh, does flow through to the pay as you go. In fact, um, quite a large super salary sacrifice that I've put there, considering the person's um, gross pay that's okay um, the other thing that should be on this pay slip is we should have the additional super line this additional super line is, isn't really changing at all so let's just scroll down and see how this looks on the um, on the uh, pay event that gets reported to the ATO. So we've got our gross. Um, I haven't kept track of all the amounts. Presumably it's correct. Um, then we've got the super salary sacrifice of $1,000 and the reportable super contribution. So what's happening is normally these two numbers are the same. Um, however, uh, this $1,000 super salary sacrifice is only picking up the $1,000 sacrifice on this pay slip, um, whereas the reportable super contribution is picking up um, the the 1000 on this pay slip plus the 1000 on that previous pay slip I just showed you. Okay, so um, now I previously mentioned this um, this transition method that's being allowed by the ATO which is this hybrid disaggregate method um, 
and it's sort of saying if you, if you don't have the full year information um, you can you can use that and I've suggested to use that for the overtime however I kind of feel like this is a little bit different and just irks me a bit that that is um, those two numbers are different as well as the, the expectation that these super salary sacrifice amounts uh, will be larger more significant amounts so I want to fix that okay um, one way we can fix that is to um, is to put a couple extra lines in this pay slip to sort of journal the amount across so let's add a couple lines um, <clears throat> super salary sacrifice um, and what I want to do in this first line is reverse what was done previously year to date and this was a thousand now um, I guess th this a thousand has no relationship to that this is the year to date um, one thousand dollars and so whatever the year to date figure is um, that was previously reported through STP1 is what you put in there. Now that was that was put in as a negative on all these pay slips so far throughout the year, which is just the one that I showed you actually. And the tax code that was used on those is gross taxable wages. So now this is a uh, what what it brought up previously was a default tax code. It doesn't mean we have to accept that we can change that. Um, so I'm changing that and that that line reverses out what's happened so far throughout the year on on this super salary sacrifice so now I also want to put in what should have happened which um, is this and then uh, the minus 1000 okay now if we um, scroll down to um, the payment info see how this is going to get reported okay we've got our correct um, salary sacrifice amount the reportable super amount the gross has actually gone up because this is we've, we've separated out the superannuation salary sacrifice superannuation salary sacrifice is actually a negative amount um, so the gross is actually going up um, but that's fine and that's what we want so um, this looks good to me uh, we'll just check one thing so um, keeping in mind here that the net pay is or the gross is, is 1140 um, and the net is 140 we save that pay slip uh, and go to the STP Lodge page we want to see that our gross payment subject to pay holding is 1140 so that is being reported correctly and um, <clears throat> and that is one way you could um, transition uh, to STP2 for your super salary sacrifice um, the other thing is it is um, June and there's probably only one or two pays left in the financial year so if you find yourself in a situation where you have um, some slightly more complicated things to transition like this you might actually decide um, hey I'll just finish off the year with um, STP1 and then start the new year with STP2 Alright, um, that's all for this video. I hope it's been useful and thanks for watching.